G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks Touring Australia with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today I am where I believe is the Crossley Bridge Campground. It shows up slightly different on wiki camps to where I am. It's in the area, it's just across the Crossley Bridge, just out of Safala, and it's a campground. So I'll give you a look at it. But um, the wiki camps thing I put on the front of this clip may be close but not necessarily correct. So if I'm wrong guys, sorry, I'm working this stuff out myself. Anyway, we'll give you a look around it. So where I've driven in uh, is a relatively straightforward road. A bit bumpy because it's dirt. Anyway, have a look at that now. Just out of Safala, across the bridge, there's a turn off, just going into the dirt here. And this, I believe, is the way to Crossley Bridge Campground. Certainly looks more like it. So there's people camp down here. We've got trucks. We've got two wheel drive vans. Four wheel drives. So, pretty well, all sorts of things are in here. Got a major horse flight kind of thing going on over there. So, I think I found it. So, it's pretty get in here and nearly anything. Anyway, it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, bit of a false start, but I found the place. Anyway, back to future me to take you for a walk around. Okay, I'm back. So walking from where I've parked the car, you can hear trucks going over the bridge. So that makes sense. It is obviously because it's called the Crossley River Bridge. It's a road. So I'm here on a Sunday during the day. So you can get down to the river here pretty easily. But I don't know if you'd want to camp down this close. You can certainly drive down here. There's wheel tracks down here. Uh, you could. Now I'll give you a look at it. There's some relatively permanent campsite set up back where I'm parked or near where I'm parked. I'll give you a look at those in a minute. But here's the view from downstream from the bridge. Uh, the water looks beautiful. Somebody set up a little kid slippery dip there slide into the river there so that's pretty nice uh, it looks lovely anyway this part where we're looking at here is obviously a bit rough and bumpy to camp at unless you went maybe right down there near that leg that might be okay but Otherwise, I'd suggest not. Now, back up towards the car. So we'll walk up, back up towards the Land Cruiser. When I came in from the road, I turned left, and that's where I wound up. So that's reasonable. Like here is a, obviously a spot where people have camped. Uh, 
sort of to themselves. I'm passing the second fire pit now. So, where the Land Cruiser's parked is reasonably good. So you can certainly camp in there. Now I reckon guys, you need decent pegs if you're gonna try and camp in a tent or a, camp, or a swag on this ground. But if you're in a camper trailer or a car up a rooftop tent or a caravan, now I'd say you'd be better off. As you can see, you can't near a truck. Can't in here and anything. But not that much. So where that truck is is the way I drove around. So I'll come around this way, a few more campfires. And this looks a little bit nicer. Camp there where that fire pit is back to your riverbank and you get a cracking view down over the river now it'd be fair to say that this is completely self-supported but with that said there's public toilets in town that are not far away like we're not far at all from Safala there's another part of the river, doesn't that look fantastic? Gold panning is obviously something people do around these areas. Safala is very close, it's the closest town. Hill End's not far away. So you just come down here and camp, swim, enjoy the area generally. That's pretty good. So we've got the motorhomes park there, there's another camp. I won't go in that way, guys, because, you know, I don't like to interrupt people camping. So I'll walk around this side of the truck and keep walking. So there's a better we weapon, this thing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, well and truly set up. Got a car trailer on the back or something, so anyhow. Looking up there is the road I drove in on. So as you can see, there's camping, nice, easy, flat camping all through this area here. So you have no issues anywhere in there. But like I said, we should remember it's all self-sufficient stuff. Unless you want to do a quick drive into Safala to go for poos. But there's more road down here, so we'll see what's down here. Because uh, I, guys, am seeing this the same time you are. So we're experiencing it together. There's definitely more down here. This place being clever, he's put his swag on that nice grassy bit. So he'd be able to hammer some pegs in. This road just keeps on going. Now there is another unmarked campground that's very popular, not far from here. I don't know anything about it. I stumbled across it accidentally and there's lots of people camped in there. And um, they said that you could drive the river where they were and that would bring you out along a track to this one. I chose to come back via the road, but realistically, you can come camp down here. Now there's over in the distance, there is another fire pit, so people have been camped over there. So this is a choose your own adventure, this is a camping 
in this bit too, some fire pits here. There's wheel tracks and roads. So there's all sorts of things. So I'm gonna say, given the way in from the road is pretty straightforward, I'd suggest that you can come in in anything. Like we, I saw two wheel drive van there and some trucks and stuff. So I think you can come in here in anything. So I don't know what else there is to tell you on this one. So I may bail out early and walk back to the car. It's getting pretty warm, but this is what we do for you guys. So while I'm in the shade, if I can ever get the gimbal to work, I've been using this gimbal for over a year, guys, and I still get it wrong. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to call this the uh, Crosby, Crosley Bridge Crossing Campground. Crosley Bridge Campground and uh, come and find it for yourselves. It's not bad, it's free. So why not come and have a look at it? And, uh, yeah, like I said previously, activities, I'm fiddling with the mic, sorry guys. Activities are um, gold panning and just camping in the bush and that kind of stuff, swimming. Anyway, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, put a like on it. Really helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll know when a new clip comes out. To the old hands, as always, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. Uh, if you want to consider supporting the channel, there's channel memberships. Uh, you get early access to the videos through those, or you can buy some of my limited merch on my website. Uh, all of that stuff is down below. So uh, you can do that if you support to support the channel. If you don't want to, that's fine. Just keep liking and watching the clips and I'll be happy. You'll be happy, we'll be happy. We'll just be here being happy. So I'll say goodbye, guys. Thanks again for taking the time out of your day to watch. Just get out there, enjoy the bush, come to places like this. Enjoy these places. Just get out there, like I said. Be good to each other. Cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring Australia. We'll see you next week. All the best, guys. You're the road.